bathroom tissue, household towels, facial tissue, and napkins. These products play a quiet yet necessary role in getting us through our day. We often take the functionality and convenience of these paper products for granted. Did you know that Idaho is part of the nation's largest tissue company focused solely on private label? And it's common knowledge that trees are the resource used to make these items. But what's not widely known is the story behind all the machinery, man and woman power, and technology involved in the production of these goods. At Clearwater Paper's Consumer Products Division in Lewiston, Idaho, such a story is taking place, and with it, the overall goal of satisfying a demanding national market. Running 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, Clearwater Paper's plant maximizes product output by operating in a fast, safe, efficient, and fine-tuned manner. Such proficiency has made the company an industry leader. The process begins with a resource of pulp primarily made up of sawdust and wood chips. This slushy softwood pulp enters the tissue mill via a pipeline from Clearwater Paper's neighboring pulp mill. In a giant blender, the pulp is combined with bales of hardwood pulp, creating a mixture specific to each customer's product needs. Once completed, this mixture gets sent to one of the plant's three tissue-making machines. At the machine's head box, the pulp mixture gets sprayed onto a mesh wire, forming a very thin layer, referred to as a sheet. At this point, the material on the sheet is only 4% solid, the rest is water. The removal of this water is the next step in the papermaking process. Gravity is the first step as the water begins to drain from the fiber through the screen. This process reduces the water content to approximately 60%. From here, the fiber sheet is transferred to a felt carpet for its journey through giant rollers. These large rollers press out water, reducing the content to approximately 20% moisture. Now the sheet is solid enough to stand on its own, and steam is used to heat and dry the sheet, forming a solid sheet of paper. Because this machine runs 6,000 feet per minute and accounts for 230 tons of tissue per day, Engineers and operators spend their time monitoring and ensuring peak efficiency. Now dry, the tissue sheet is spun onto a huge roller, large enough to collect and transport tons of paper at a time. This giant spool, referred to as a parent roll, is the end product of this huge machine. Now the parent roll must travel to the next stage of the plant, where it's converted into several types of products. At the converting end of the plant, the parent roll is unspooled to create smaller rolls. These smaller rolls become the source rolls for the company's different products. Bathroom tissue, paper towels, facial tissue, and napkins. Depending on the customer needs, the roll may receive perforation cuts, printed designs, or embossing. Several quality checks are made by inspectors throughout the entire process. Once cut to individual portions, the product is then wrapped in plastic, branded with one of 1,200 different consumer labels, and boxed for shipment. Every hour of the day, over 1,750 cases of tissue products travel through this conversion process with the help of seven miles of conveyor belts. Over half a million cases can reside in the storage area, where 32 forklift drivers complete this logistical journey by loading up to 57 trucks a day for shipment throughout the nation. Like any successful business, Clearwater Paper's Consumer Products Division has dedicated people throughout the company. Nearly 1,350 workers make up the plant's workforce at the Lewiston facility, of which more than 600 work in the Consumer Products Division. Clearwater Paper is committed to teamwork, safety, and being good stewards of the environment. This plant, which supplies quality tissue products throughout the country, has a local payroll and local vendor payments of more than $125 million per year. Making Clearwater Paper the largest employer in the region and Idaho's 